Alrighty, it is 322 and we're headed right into Epcot. Best timing so far. Yeah. Good morning. Good we're morning. so glad you're here. We daily vlog, so if you enjoy this video, make sure you come back tomorrow and the next day. And the next day. And the next day. We made it. We made it. We're like parked in kind of a weird spot. We have to like backtrack today. Yeah, like we parked closer to the fence, but closer to the stage, which means we have to walk. Like we're already and like I, we're at directly parallel with American Cancer Society, but on the other side of the fence, we have to walk back the corral to go through security. Yeah. Um, it's a little warmer today. A little warmer it's today. Like 55, which yeah. makes a big difference. Huge, but I am more prepared. I got. He's in his jeans. I got pajama his pants and a, and a hoodie on, and I have my mylar. So I'll probably do some a little outfit change once we get to ACS. Yeah. Um, maneuvering of the stuff because I have all my running gear in the backpack and lose some of these layers. I might be fine without the stuff as long as I have my mylar. Big race day. We're here. I'm gonna do a little wardrobe change. Bye. Bye. I'm going to the corrals early. Good I luck. Love you. love you. Text me when you when your phone turns off. Okay. So Peter is in the corrals. I'm gonna check out what princesses are here and then head to the monorail to go straight to Magic Kingdom. I'm not risking missing Peter again, so I'm gonna get there super, super early. Here we go. We're walking the, the mile walk to the corrals. Finally to the corrals. I feel good, like soreness wise, I feel good. Hunger and hydration wise. I've got a weird twinge in my right ankle. Um, but hoping it's just a little twinge that I'll, I'll have the rest fall off. Hi! Alright, time for a little blip there. I just had my cousin Bridget. I hadn't seen her over by the, the entertainment area because I wanted to get in the corrals. Um, it was great seeing her. She ran all three. Or she's, She's running today and she ran Friday and Saturday. She's the best. Um, now I'm heading over to April. The nerves are building. Here we go, we got H over here, F and G over here. And then if you walk this middle, you'll get your way to A to E. Oh, this is insane. How am I in A? I'm getting so nervous. That is insane. There we go. So I, I lost my mylar. I found my friend Kate. Do something Kate. that I used to fake. <laughs> you nervous? Being sick yeah. to get I'm out nervous. of running the I'm mile. Nervous. I'm it's nervous cool. to be this close and to now the front of Corral A. Oh, we got it. We got it. Oh, she does that star spangled banner yet wave or the land. start our race is none other than the fairy godmother! <laughs> so I made it to the Magic Kingdom, which is more than I can say for many races. I think I've come here dopey two, year, two years ago. But anyway, we're right on Main Street, right on the rope. We were some of the first people to get here, which is really cool. I've never been here this early. 
Um, but Peter just started. It's like 5.36ish. Well, that's when he started. And now it's 44. So we're waiting for the first um, chair racers to come through and then the first runners will because we're right at mile five. Um, so it'll probably be, it'll be less than an hour before Peter gets here. Also, I'm not alone. Heather decided to come with me. So it's been nice to have company. Um, you guys know I typically take this on by myself, so it's really fun. It looks like some is someone coming, or are they just like getting excited down there? I don't know. This is a really cool spot to watch, so I need I need to do this more often. Who is it? A golf cart. <laughs> we just had the first chairs go through, and holy smokes, here comes the first runner. Woo! So Peter crossed the 5K just a little bit ago with a super awesome time. So we'll, we'll see. We'll see if he keeps it up, but holy smokes, Peter. Kicking butt already. Go Magic Kingdom. Side note from the race, the Emporium is totally open and you can shop and it's never this empty. So we're just cruising. We got eight miles. Ooh, Heather hasn't been here since <laughs> you were, what did we decide? Since I, the 25th anniversary. Oh my gosh, so. Well, I've been here for the races. Yeah, not really uh, yeah. Like... So we're just taking it in. Alrighty, back to Epcot. One last finish line. So that's mile eight. Stopping for characters. It's a beautiful world. It's a beautiful day. I don't even know if I'll make my two hour goal, but I'm okay with that. Choose night because Sarah texted me before the race started and said, I said I'm getting a little nervous because I do and she says, you've already achieved the greatest thing this weekend and she's so right. We got the yes on that pregnancy test. And nothing in the entire world is going to be dead. So I'm just going to soak in this amazing run, this amazing weekend. I don't know if you can see on the GoPro, there's thousands of runners right there. We're all running the same race. I'm running and knowing my baby's waiting for me at the finish line. So, I'm gonna take photos. I'm gonna slow my speed. It's gonna be the best damn race I've ever run. Because that is a good day. Look at these awesome runners on both sides of the street. I'm about to cross the 15K. And shortly I'll make the turn, head back to Epcot. Feeling good. Love running. Love run Disney. Alrighty, Peter crossed the 15K. It says I'll finish in about a half hour. So we are going to hit all of our checkpoints. I haven't missed him once. And I hopefully didn't just jinx it. <laughs> Better's getting down the GoPro and I just broke the wrist strap, so I'm carrying this bad boy the rest of the race. But I think I'm about to hit the 10 mile mark. And you guys know what that means. Just a quick 5k after that. And per usual, if you guys haven't followed in my other run Disney event today, I already dedicate the last 5k to my father-in-law. My biggest running inspiration. So, Mr. Ryan, it's time to go for a quick 5k for you. Have a good one.
good run. Finish it strong. Woo! Look how gorgeous this world showcase is. Beautiful day. Beautiful run. Woo! We decided to stay where I'm always at, like just after the finish line. And Peter should be here like five, ten minutes. It is awesome. It's below, like the actual race itself started an hour and 53 minutes ago. So it'll be close, but he might get under two hours. He had no goal. We, we got our biggest goal this weekend with our test on Friday, so I told him, I was like, don't stress yourself out, but we'll see. Peter Brookhart is coming in now. Two hours, 31 seconds. I call that an immense win and great way to finish this princess weekend. Look at this medal. That is a nice medal. I gotta get my, my challenge now. I feel so good. It's the best run Disney weekend I've ever finished. You feel this good. Look at you. I finished. You good. kicked butt. Good, I did kick butt. I just had a really fun race. And I've like really wanted you to have that because I feel like you, not that you don't have fun because you do, but like, I feel like I'm always worried about my time. Light. I'm putting on my medal so Kyra can take a photo in front of the ACS sign for PR this is reasons. A new one. This is a new one. I didn't realize it's kind of see throughy on yeah, the top there. Like and then I'm legitimately going to go change in a port potty. Yeah. Because we have, oh, pink and blue. Yes. This is what I wanted last year for. Oh yeah. I was mad about missing on last year for Aurora being the representative. I love that they're the different colors. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take a photo, Not then I'm gonna change, then we're gonna go in the magic in the Epcot once it opens. Four is much more easy to manage. Yes. Awesome. The six. I love it. Still my beer. Got my medals on. We're I changed. Prepared. You didn't bring sunglasses or a hat for Peter, so. So it's gonna we're be gonna squinty. Squint the rest of the walk. But we're gonna go cheer because Epcot doesn't open for another 20 minutes. So we're gonna go cheer on some little, some runners before yeah. we head into the park. Yeah, I didn't show this part on my way over, but there are areas be like before the finish line that you can get to, like on your walk over from Epcot. So. And I've never cheered before, like over here. Yeah. It's so fun watching Peter be a spectator. Well, more exciting now that the park's open. I see runners right now. I've never, never thought I'd cheer in park. So yeah. I'm about to go scream my face off at these runners <laughs> and try to get them through the last 0.6 miles from where they're at. And then we get to go in the DVC lounge. And then we're gonna go chill in the DVC lounge because my legs are a little sore. Yeah. I need some coffee. Just to chill. Just to chill. And then daytime, we'll showcase maybe a little bit. Not too much though. Festival of Arts. Daytime. Ooh. It's the last weekend. Don't talk about it. Woo! Go get your medal! Slayer's a straight up addict right now. She needs that call the Coca-Cola fix. Heading. This is coffee 734-892-8943. Gotta get that contract paid. Hey oh. You can even see the course. Wait, I think it's over. Yeah. It's just finished. Those bikers are the last people. Wow. I've never seen that before. Oh! Like a jump solo. Like a jump solo. Oh, okay. You got it? Okay. Check. Look at this park exit. So we decided to go home with regret. Yeah, I'm like migraine progressing. Like it, I thought that a DVC lounge might help. Eight salt, eight caffeine. I think I just need a good old fashioned rest. So, I'm gonna go home. I'm so mad. I'm like mad. I wanted to stay so bad. Cause we're not gonna come out later. No, 
because we're, we're gonna right? come back here tomorrow though right so that's good but i'm so mad okay, man. Mad. it is many hours later sarah is getting the ingredients for some black bean burgers to be set and uh that's not that's the temperature it's actually like 6 30. sarah's feeling a little better yeah, I finally gave in and took some Tylenol. I was trying to sleep it off and it just was not. Well, I think if you slept for five hours yeah. and you were still feeling like garbage, so yeah. it's born to the took medicine. Yeah. yeah. So, Peter added the vlog, which is great, and now we're gonna eat. Yeah, yeah. And she is on the prowl for food. You have a whole bowl. I'm talking to you. Yeah, you. Peter went with sriracha on top, and I went with barbecue. They look delicious. They look and smell delicious, <laughs> and they're gonna hit the spot, and we got a little side bowl of tomatoes seasoned up. It's just salt, pepper, garlic, oregano, and a little bit of vinegar. I might put mine on top of my burger, actually. Alrighty, it's the 23rd, Chelsea, and my cousin Aaron's birthday. Great things are done when men, or anybody, and mountains meet. William Blake. I fell asleep on the couch. Mm -hmm. We watched The Office, faced him with the air hearts, and now we're going to bed. We got Sunday itis. Yeah, major Sunday itis. After that a means long, you awesome don't weekend. Want the week to start. Yeah. But it's a good time to be alive. <laughs> Have we got a doctor's appointment tomorrow morning? Yeah. Did we oh, do the blood test? I forgot about that. Yeah. I forgot about it with like our plan of me driving you to work. Yeah. Good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>